I think we, we suffer, I think, in the United States because we do not have universal access to health care. And we have so many various groups that interpret um, um, who to treat, who not to treat. So I think it poses great challenges for us that we have that. We also have uh, many populations that have no insurance whatsoever. And it turns out the people with the, with the that lack insurance are really at the highest risk. We have homeless people, uh, people who are in jail, um, people who come in and out of the jails. So these are some of the highest risk people who have really virtually no access. So we would be, it would be a great benefit for us if we had better access like you have here in Brazil. Okay. So what we're having in the United States, and it really started with the Great Recession in 2007, 2008, and this epidemic that we have now in the United States is among rural white people primarily, people with low education levels, and it started because of these, they've been actually um, started on uh, prescription opioids and then graduated to injection drugs. So it's a different kind of epidemiology for this uh, new um, outbreak we're having, but it's seen a lot in rural areas, in Appalachia, which are mountains where, where many poor people frankly live. So it's about poverty, it's about rural, it's about white young people primarily, and it's a new problem that we're trying to face.